Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser, skilled on how are you, my dear learners. In this video, we are going to see how we can write complex equations creating by ChatGPT or DeepSec and make it simple for our research writing purpose. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, let's assume that we want to write a regression model. So, let's say, uh, give us a regression equation for example, and chat GPT will provide us a regression equation. So, let's say this is our regression equation and if I just copy the whole equation and paste it in one of the word file, let's say this file, so it will look like this. It's not very good to look and it's not very easy to understand. For example, there are other equations that may say, if we want to say this one, Similarly, if you can write down this one, it's not simply looking very good. Even if you want to say a complex equation, let's say, give us, give us a complex equations. In that case, chat GPT can give me a complex equation. And these complex e equations, when we are putting it in our re research writing paper, it does not give us a clear research equation or research article formatted formatted standard in that case we need some help for example we can write so many things like this which is not a standard research writing equation so how can we make it a nicer one so let us see that trick very simple one let me see one of the equation that i have used for example this one so i say can you write the simple bayesian regression equations which is a complex regression equation in a latex format with code block that is the prompt that you have to give for writing any research research paper writing mathematical equation so right just can you write the simple bayesian regression equation in latex format with code block so chat gpt will provide you this kind of code block for regression all you have to do just copy the whole thing copy the whole thing and then go to the word document right and paste it there so you can see that this is a complex equation but it does not give you a very clear equation formatting right it's very complex now what you have to do go to the insert press equation and then you see here convert click convert and write press current professional and voila you can see the equation is look very nice right very nice format again if you go and see another equation let's say this equation copy the whole thing copy the whole thing and then you go again into the word document and you can see the word document equation does not look very good right so just copy it and then go insert equation then convert current professional and looks like we got our very nicely done equation so this is how you can easily convert any equation from chat gpt what about the deep seek so if i if i look at the deep seek formula similarly i what i said let a code i said give us a latex code here is a latex code for inverse gamma and cauchy distribution in bayesian analysis for example there is a mathematical equation that i want and this is the long list of equations that that deep seek give me so what i have to do just copy the whole thing copy the whole thing from this equation and paste it in our word file let's see and still it is does not look good just all you have to do go insert equation convert professional and you can see the fantastic format of equation just simply two or three clicks away so all you have to do First, you go to a chat GPT or Dipsy, create your any equation format in a LaTeX format with code block and then copy the code block like just like the way I have shared with you and paste it in your Word document, insert equation and then just say current professional and you will get your professional looking mathematical equation for your research writing article. So, I hope this video is useful for you because this is very much needed in day to day life. And I believe the researcher will be benefited from this video. So if you, if you like this one, you can subscribe and share this video with your peers so that everybody can know and we can grow 
as a researcher together. Thank you so much, my dear learners. I'll see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.